What's going on guys? Today the Dark Lord rises again. Meta Knight is back. Oh shit. So everyone is pretty much expecting this character to get nerfed to freak. So let's just kind of break down what we know so far. So we know that gliding is pretty much being removed for everyone. He's not getting his gliding attack. His up B is seems to be similar to how it was, but it's obviously not gonna let him glide. It, it sounds like he it's going to attack a character twice. So I don't know if that means when you go up the loop and then when you go back down. Or if it has like a like an instance where it hits you twice. But how will it affect his recovery? Since gliding is gone, he's not going to be able to do the loop. And then be able to glide anywhere he wants now. It seems like he just will do the loop. And then that's pretty much his recovery. Possibly. From what we know from all the characters so far, it doesn't seem like he's going to be weakening characters. It seems like he's going to be strengthening characters, but giving them weaknesses as well. So this is kind of a little scary that this character could potentially get stronger. Even looking at his model, he looks exactly the same. The only thing different, it seems, is that he has like metal gauntlets on his gloves now. So I think we're all in agreement. This character needs to change bad. So some things that I think needs to be changed are his specials. His specials have ridiculous priority. His side B is not that much of an issue. You can kind of avoid that. And he's very vulnerable after he does it. But it was just like another great recovery tool he had. His dimension cape is down B. It was never really used offensively. You could use it offensively, but it was mostly like a dodge tool, mostly like another recovery option he had. And his tornado. Oh, dear God, his tornado. This is probably one of the moves that has to change. Now, you, you could do numerous things to his tornado. You could make it so it doesn't have the crazy priority that it has. You can make it so it's just kind of stationary in one position where you're not able to tap it and it go up and down. Or you can make it not last as long. It just be like a quick tornado. Or just remove it entirely and just save us all the grief from brawl tournaments with Meta Knight Tornado Spam. He will probably have his five little jumps, his five little floats like Kirby has. He'll probably get that back. They might reduce it to three, but I don't see them doing that. I, I see him being similar to Kirby. like. And his aerials. His aerials are ridiculously good. For the most part, he's unbeatable in the air. Every move is instant. His up A in the air can even juggle you in the air. He could juggle you up and then do his up B, his little loop, and then ah, do a tornado, and then ah, da, 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 da. His aerials need to change. Whether that could be they, a few of them could be slower, a few of them have more startup, just something needs to change with his aerials because his, he's pretty much unbeatable. His smash attacks are really good too. You know, his forward smash is good, it's quick. His down smash is probably even quicker. His up smash is good, like, they're just all good moves. They don't have any weaknesses. If you're able to perfect shield it, like you might be able to punish him, but you're not gonna get in on him if he's gonna just keep doing his smashes. So I do think his smashes need more startup. They definitely need more startup or give them vulnerabilities. His smashes aren't as good as his aerials, but his smashes are still pretty good. If you look at the rest of the cast, everyone's smash has kind of like a little bit of startup, a little bit of delay. You know, you can kind of punish it. Well, with him, you, you really can't for the most part. And that's probably one of the biggest thing, one of his biggest strengths is that he's really quick. Every move is instant for the most part. Every move is just there and, and will hit you. You don't really need to think. You just have to do it. He's probably the most melee-esque character in Brawl because he's just so quick. So I think his moves definitely need to be slowed down. I think the fact that he's still a lightweight character will remain intact. You know, he's, he'll probably be easy to KO. I definitely think his gliding is going to hurt him. A lot of Meta Knight players just use that up B and rely on that glide to get back. So if there's a possibility where his recovery is not as good, I don't see how that, po that is possible because he's a, you know, he's a glider. He's got wings, but... If they can do something about that, then I'd welcome it. Now, Meta Knight is definitely beatable in Brawl, but he's arguably the best character in that game. And I'm usually one to encourage just adapting, not choosing the best characters. Like, 
you it's possible to beat Meta Knight with your character if you know the matchup. From what I kind of noticed with the Smash Brothers games that when you have a really good character, for example, we'll take Kirby. Kirby was really good in 64. He was probably the best character in that game. And in Melee, he was ass, complete ass. In Brawl, he was a little bit better. And in 64, Link was pretty terrible in that game too. His recovery was just bad. He was still powerful, but his recovery just kind of killed him. In Melee, he was no way near top tier, but he definitely improved a lot from 64 and kind of remained intact in Brawl. So we kind of see that the really strong characters or the, or the really weak characters get better with each passing iteration. So hopefully Meta Knight will be a more balanced character in this one. So regardless, if Meta Knight's intact and is still OP, then I guess that's okay. Whether he gets nerfed to hell, I'm sure we would all love to see that. For the most part, all of our experiences with this character is just seeing him in top tournaments, in pretty much every Brawl tournament, people spamming Tornado, people just doing very, very boring stuff. I am sure Sakurai knows that this is pro this was probably the best character in Brawl. Probably heard all the feedback, heard all the cries. He is known to be very much a part of this community and knows what's going on with this game. So hopefully he takes that into consideration when developing this character for this iteration. It's not too much longer that we're going to be playing Smash 3DS. So we'll probably be getting a lot more character reveals coming up because we have like a month and a half until the... 3DS version comes out so we are probably going to hear a lot more about this game possibly a direct maybe in September who knows so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and again thank you for watching peace out